we rotate the standard y equal x square by 30 degree counterclockwise, resulting in this pink graph, we try to find the equation for it. There are multiple ways of doing this. Today, we're going to use complex number. Recall that for the complex number of multiplication, if I have a complex number in the original trigonometry form with modulus r and the angle theta. So in the complex plane, let's assume it's going to be somewhere here. OK, that's z. So what is the product of the z multiplied by this special complex number with radius 1 and angle 30 degree. So the product rule tells us that uh, the new value would be equivalent of rotating z here by 30 degrees, right? So it could be 30 degree, could be bring somewhere here, right? So let's say that's the new one, right? Okay, that would be 30 degrees. And the radius is going to be the same, r, yeah? Of course, this is not in uh, scale. All right, so let's write it down. The multiplication of the complex number z, z lot would equal the same modulus, and theta would be theta plus 30 degrees. So with that review of complex number multiplication, we can go back to the original problem. So we need to find the equation for this pink curve. We start with original curve here. For any point P, right, let's use T as a parameter. This, you know, the X coordinate is T, and that would be T square Y coordinate corresponding complex number is going to be t plus t square i. So we're going to relay this curve onto the complex plane. So this real axis this is going to be the imaginary axis here. So the corresponding complex number would be p here. Yeah. If you rotate by 30 degree, it comes here with, let's say, q. Coordinate is going to be x, y. The complex number would be x, i, y, yeah? So what is x, y? So remember, the rotating 30 degrees equivalent to multiplies the original complex number, which is t plus t square i. You're going to multiply by cosine 30 degree, which is square root of 3 over 2, plus i sine 30 degrees, that is 1 half, OK? So this is a simple complex number multiplication. The real part is going to be this one, square root of 3 over 2t, and the other one, i times i, that's negative 1, so the whole thing would be negative, t square over 2i. Oh, sorry, i is, is negative 1, right? So that's already accounted for. Let's erase that. Okay. Plus, the imaginary part is going to be this part times this, and one half times this t, okay? So it's going to be one half of t plus square root of three over two t square, okay? So in the new curve, q, the point q, x, y, have this, you know, with parameter t, you're going to have x, is going to equal square root of 3 over t minus t square over 2. y would be, you know, this is part of the emergent part, right? So it's going to be t, t over 2 you know, plus, plus square root of 3 over 2t square. So that would be the equation with parameter t, okay? That would be x and y.
But how do we find the closed form formula here? Okay, the way to do it is to try to cancel t here. Okay, let's do that. Let's first of all, let's clone this part. Okay, so what we first do is we try to cancel this two equation here, right? We try to cancel, let's say, t. How do we cancel? Let's uh, change the color here. Cancel t. I'm going to multiply square root of 3 on the second equation. This becomes square root of 3. This will become 3 over 2, right? 3 over 2. Square root is gone. Now, in order to cancel t, we do the subtraction of the two equations. So square root of 3, y minus x, right? So to sub subtract this equation, you know, and this, this two equation here. And t squared would be 3 over 2 minus negative 1 half. That is 2, right? 2t two squared. 2t two squared here. All right, great. Now let's look at the original equation here. This time we're going to try to cancel t squared here. How do we cancel that? We have to multiply square root of 3 here. And this becomes 3 over 2. And this becomes square root of 3x. And now in order to cancel t squared here, you simply add it together. They would cancel, they would cancel. right? So that becomes square root of 3x plus y would equal, and um, similarly, this would be 2t. Now we have these two equations here. Yeah. So if you square the second one, what do you get? You get a square root of 3x plus y. And then you try to square it. You're going to equal 4t squared. Yeah? So the 4t squared, which means equation 1 times 2. So it's equal to 2 square root of 3y minus x. So this equation, we cancel x, right? So that would be the equation, close form equation, for the pink curve. Okay, so that's the solution. All right, recall that uh, we use complex number multiplication in figuring out the equation for, for this new curve. And uh, we use parameter t, yeah? And then in the multiplication, we get x, y, and then we cancel it, the parameter t gets closed form. Of course, there are other methods. For example, a common method is through the rotation matrix. Yeah, in the 2D plane, that would be the rotation matrix of rotating something by theta. And the coordinate from the old one becomes the new one. The relationship is given by this matrix multiplication. Okay. So there's a new x prime and this y prime. Okay, try it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure and subscribe to the channel.